Money is not a problem. They're not. Young lady, you'd better do what you do and clean the bathroom, okay? Yeah, for sure. Good. Yes, I'm with you. So, 30,000, is it enough? Yes, then the deal is done. And I'm sending my assistant right away, okay? Wait, this is not about the money I have. Miss, what are you doing? Uh, I forgot the cleaner. The cleaner? Yeah. Okay. We are ready to pay for our tuition. It's the amount for the whole year. As you asked. Mommy, you're the best. Wait, but how... A week ago, you asked me to split the payment into installments. You tried to take out a loan, and you said you had no one to ask for help. I don't know where you got the money, but I just can't sign the contract. Why not? Mary has an excellent exam result, and all she's been doing for the last two years is dreaming about this moment. Mr. Green, for me, studying here is a big deal. You see, due to malpractice, my father died on the operating table. And I promised myself that I would become a first-class neurosurgeon and fight for every life. <sighs> Claudia, Mary, try to understand me. Mary has a good exam scores, awards, good recommendations, but, but, but you can afford it. Claudia, we teach the children of entrepreneurs, shareholders, and politicians, and not because they're better than you, but because their parents have the money. Three hundred dollars. And she should have a set of three of this. And there's also the textbooks. Do you know how much they cost? You can't just buy them secondhand here. And what about the technical stuff? Mary needs a laptop for her studies. Do you have one? Claudia, everything in this university, from uniforms to pants, is a brand. And you have to pay for everything. It's a thousand of dollars in extra expenses. Are you ready for these expenses? We are. We are ready to sign the contract. We are ready for her tuition. I still can't believe it. Thank you, Mommy. You have a noble goal. Here you are. I have called you five times since your last visit and frankly I did not expect to see you here. Does your daughter study here as well? We just paid the tuition for me to attend this college. I'm Claudia's daughter, Marie. Glad to hear, glad to hear. I have heard that this is a very prestigious place to study and also very expensive too. It is not easy to get in here. I believe that your mother has done the impossible job. I'll work as hard as she did. Enough, uh, enough wasting time. I have a lot of work to do. Help Mr. Caesar, you are pleased with my work and have no complaints. Wait, wait, wait. Complaints? What complaints are you talking about? You have made my house shine and clean again. Thank you for that. And frankly, I wanted to propose you a permanent job. I, I don't know. I have to look at my schedule. Please, I beg you to help me. I'll be honest with you. My cleaning lady, she has gone for a while and I need someone, someone like you, to help me with my house. You are here to do a job. You 
turn out the thief. Hours at an increased rate. Twenty-eight fifty. It's a thousand of doors in extra expense. And I promised myself that I would become first-class neurosurgeon and fight for every life. Claudia, Mary, try to understand me. I believe that your mother have done the impossible job. I'll do anything to make your dreams come true. I'm sorry for distracting you from work. I tried to get my textbooks, but they won't even let me hold them without paying. Don't worry, though, I will pay today. We'll take your notebooks, your uniform, and we'll arrange a shuttle bus to school. <laughs> Did you get so much money? It doesn't matter. As long as everything works out for you. Mom, you've never made this much money. I do now. No one will hurt us again. I got the money. Did you? If you had to do bad things, it wasn't worth it. Dear, you are the smartest girl in this college. And you have a noble goal. You deserve it. Did you know that Mr. Cesar also has a son? <laughs> At the top of his class. Um, he won four Olympiads and um, he's the captain of the basketball team. A real star. No, Mr. Cesar didn't tell me about him. He has come down with some obscure illness and uh, the treatment is so expensive that even Mr. Cesar can barely afford it. I thought if we're doing so well, why don't we help him? Mom, Mommy, calm down. He'll be fine. Mrs. Cesar will take care of him. Honey, I need to tell you something. Claudia? Claudia, what are you doing here? I have a confession to make, Mr. Caesar. You know, I've been raising my daughter alone for over three years now. I work for her. I live for her. And I love her that much that I've crossed the line. I can't afford the tuition at that college. So I have stole that money from you and your son. I thought that my daughter's dream can justify this crime. So I called the police and, and I'm ready to answer for it. No matter how much I love her, that doesn't give me the right to hurt others. Listen, Claudia, I noticed the missing money right away after you were gone. I'm sorry. And then when I saw you and your daughter in the college, I realized everything. You were just protecting and saving the most precious person in your world. 
your daughter. I'm a father myself. I know how it feels. Even right now I can feel your heart is beating. And this is the heart of a good person. So you won't tell the police about me? <laughs> Goddamn, no. Of course not. In fact, mm, I have several friends on the board of directors and your daughter is very smart. And who knows, maybe we can negotiate some grant for her. Mr. Sissa, you, you're saving me. Wait, wait, wait. Nobody's saving you. You saved yourself by deciding being a good person. We get a call about theft. What's going on? Come in, officers. In fact, that's not gonna be easy to explain. Hi, it's Gary. They should rather have dramatized me. Thank you, the dramatizers, for following us and watching our videos. We know how much you like our content, so I'm happy to announce that we are launching a new channel called Love Buster. There you can watch our newly produced videos about love and relationship. So click the link below, subscribe and share it with your friends. Take care and see ya.